And joining us now is NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalas. Hi, Danny. Good morning to you. Uh, closing arguments in just a few hours. As you well know, it's the prosecution that bears the burden of proof here. How difficult is the task before the prosecution this morning? The prosecution's been handed some powerful evidence in the form of video, not the infamous video that we all saw before this case started, but all the other surrounding video, body cam video, showing that bystanders may not have been as riotous as the defense has made them out to be, in addition to flat out playing the nearly nine minutes of Derek Chauvin's knee on the back of George Floyd's neck, which is painful to watch. Uh, those of us watching on TV could stand up and look away, but the jury was absolutely imprisoned there watching this awful video and that has to stick with them together with the prosecution's scientific experts and use of force experts and then parading in Derek Chauvin's own colleagues on the police force to say I saw what happened and it's not what we do. Let's talk about the defense's task. It has to raise reasonable doubt. It was a much shorter case. Obviously the defendant Derek Chauvin chose not to testify which is his constitutional right. What do you expect from the defense today? The defense is going to hammer their two major themes. Number one is causation, that Derek Chauvin's neck restraint and the prone position George Floyd was in did not cause his death. Now, the prosecution has to only show that it was a substantial factor in George Floyd's death. In Minnesota, that just means that he set events in motion with that restraint that led to George Floyd's death. And strangely, they don't need to prove the defense doesn't need to prove that it wasn't a substantial factor. It's that they just have to prove the prosecution didn't prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. And part two is that the restraint was justified. They're going to argue that not only is it taught to police officers, it is not a felony and it's not eminently dangerous. If they succeed with any of those two major themes, it could be a defense to all charges. All right. Well, there are three potential verdicts here. Uh, Danny, we'll be watching it with you. Thank you very much. And a programming note, NBC News will bring you live coverage of this morning's closing arguments expected to start 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.